Hey guys, it's Brian with Coyote Inc. here. Uh, today we're going to unbox the new Armasite contractor, uh, 640. It's a 3 to 12 by 50 millimeter. Um, so let's just jump right into it. First thing you got is you got the uh, the bag's got a USB to USB C cord in there. It's got the eye cup. It's got a neat little uh, keychain type holder for a lens cloth that you can put on somewhere in your hunting rig. Comes with a thermal target. Uh, comes with a pretty thorough uh, owner's manual. Uh, it's got a lot of good information in there. Um, over the years, that's one thing I've probably told people the most is read the owner's manual uh, before you try to start figuring stuff out. Uh, but if you're like most of us, you're just gonna jump right in and go. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. We're doing some more videos about reticle setup, color palette setup, uh, how to how to cite the how to cite the contractor in, uh, and then we'll get into more details on you know fine tuning your image quality after that. Uh, it also comes with a warranty registration card. I highly suggest you get it warrantied, get it registered on that. All right, so now we've got it out of the box. Comes in a nice carry case. Uh, most of you guys are like me. The minute you mount it on your rifle, you're not gonna put it back in a carry case uh, unless you're traveling or something like that. But the carry case is really nice. It's got a little padding to it. The contractor comes wrapped in bubble wrap. And here's the unit itself. I'll set it right there on the box. Put my bubble wrap in there. We'll set that to the side. The so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my eye cup on it. I like to run the eye cup. Uh, you don't have to, but I do. Uh, it keeps any any light from intruding on your eye. Um, these are pretty easy to put on. Hold one side of it, stretch it out. Now I'm on. Okay. One of the cool features about the new Armasite is this kinetic uh, development group. It's like a kinetic mount that they've got. It is about as easy as you're going to get to mount to a rifle. It's extremely secure and very easy to remove if you have to. So on the front of here is a button that releases it. Right now I have it depressed in. I'll put it up on my rifle here. I get it set on the rail that I want and snap it in and it is in. That's all there is to it. There's no more movement. It's already done. To release it, there's a little button right here in the front. You push it in first, it's like a safety. Pushes the big button in and right off it goes. That's all there is to it. Um, these things are waterproof. All the caps are sealed O-ringed. So it's got an O-ring around the cap. CR-123s will go in here. They are in this bag. So if you open it up, there'll be a side pocket in here and the CR-123s are in that side pocket. So let's get some batteries put in it. Let's see, it is positive on the right, negative on the left. Close our door. It's spring loaded on the batteries, so once you get it started, you gotta push it in just a little bit, and then you can start the, uh, the screw in there for the cover and it'll seal it up. All right, batteries are in. Next thing you'll see here is you got three buttons on top. I'll, uh, let me zoom in here. I'll show you guys the buttons. All right, so looking at the optic this way, the middle button is the power button. You push it in and to the left and the unit will come on. Okay, um, right turret button, left turret button, they're multi-function buttons. You can short press them and long press them and it'll do different things in the menu. Um, like I said, we're gonna do some more videos on each one of these buttons in the, in, the, in the future. So keep an eye on that. And then on the side here, it's got another waterproof seal, USB-C. If you wanna run an external battery pack, you can run an external battery pack, and it's also got a molded Picatinny right here for that reason. So if you wanted to put a flashlight on it or an external battery pack, whatever you want, you can put that right on there. So 
that's what that is. So we're gonna go ahead and mount it back up. Let me zoom back out so you guys can see the rifle. Again, it's depressed in, little button on the front, it's ready to mount, figure out where you want it, and snap it in and you're done. And that is pretty much the, uh, the basics of it. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can go to armasite.com and we'll get you some more info. Thank you.